Is your steering or your outboard motor locked up? Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. All right, everybody, yesterday I was having a really hard time turning my steering ash. I had to, had to push it really hard to get it moved. Today, I get, get out how I'm gonna work on it, and it's locked up. I'm gonna show you where the problem exists right now. It's back here in this right here. This little shaft right here, it slides in and out here. Right in here is the problem. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this off, pull this out, unscrew that, and take this all the way out. Stay tuned. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is come in here and break this nut off right here. This will let you take out the uh, shaft that hooks the steering to the motor. So we're gonna take this off right now. Let's see if we can't get that off now. Now this should lift right out. All right, this should come out. There we go, and it's out. And we got two um, washers that we need to put back on there. But now that's out. Now the next thing we need to do is come around here to the other side where you see this right here. Next thing we gotta do is disconnect this right here so we should be able to pull this entire rod out. Okay, let's loosen it up. All right, once you break this apart here, the first thing you want to do is check to see if the problem is with the motor. So you want to shift this motor back and forth to see if there's any resistance. And this thing, yeah, I can push it with my little finger, and this motor moves back and forth with no problem. So I know the problem is not in here. I keep all that grease really good, so that is not the problem there. It's definitely going to be inside this right here. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, we've got that loose, and we started to pull this back a little bit. Now, I want to show you one thing real quick to validate the problem is in that. Here, I got my steering wheel, and it is loose now. It moves now, and watch what's happening here. It's actually moving here, but it's not moving this in here. This is jammed in here, so we got to get this all the way out, clean this rod out, clean this uh, cavity out, and clean the rod out, and it's going to be fine. But right now, as you can see, the steering wheel is moving just fine there, not a bit of problem. All the problem is right in here. All right, so let's get this out. Might have to tap on the end here, this right here, to get it all the way out. And then we're going to clean it up and clean the shaft up. Stay tuned. All right, this is the problem right here. We've got this shaft pulled out of here. And as you can see, it's kind of gunky. It's not real greasy or anything. And it's getting stuck in here. Oh, this is, this is just, just gritty all in here almost. We gotta take this and sand this down, clean it up really good. And then we gotta come in here and clean this shaft out here really well. And then it will slide in and out with no problem. The steering will not even move. Um, it was locked up in there. So let's go ahead and get some solvent. Clean all this off first. And uh, we'll try to knock down anything else on it. And then we'll take a little uh, abrasive tool and go in here and clean it out. All right, stay tuned, we're gonna do that right now. All right, we're going to take some solvent and clean this thing off. Look at that, how clean it's coming, like brand new now. It was completely caked with all kind of some crud on it. So, that definitely got that cleaned off pretty good right there. Now we got to clean the inside of this out and see how it's going to slide back in there. All right, stay tuned. All right, you also want to turn the wheel all the way away so that this piece comes all the way out. And completely coat this, clean it off good, and completely coat this with some brand new marine grease right here. So when you turn the wheel here, let's look at it when you turn the wheel here. Let me get back here. As you turn the wheel, this will go back in there, as you see. And that new grease will be going all over it right there. Awesome. All right, now we got that nice and brand new grease here. This is going to be good. We'll grease this up in here. We'll put some brand new grease all over this. But we got to get this cleaned out right here first. All right, just want to show you the crud coming out of here. I got a towel shoved all the way through it, but look at that. Unbelievable how much crud is in there. That's not grease, that's crud. That's what's holding it back right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get something and clean the inside out a little better than this. I just want to kind of show you the crud that's up inside this thing right here. All right, stay tuned. All right, hopefully y'all can see that. And I'm looking inside the tube, and there is a couple little pits in there. It looks like some corrosion had built up in there. So we need to get in there and clean that corrosion out before we re-grease it and stick it in. So stay tuned. We're going to do that right now. All right, as you can see, it wasn't really that bad. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to take some steel wool. As you see, I'm going to push it through this way, 
and then I'm gonna take a rod and push it the other way and we're just gonna run back and forth and kind of clean the inside out right now here we go I can still feel just a little bit of corrosion so I decided to put a little piece of um, uh, this right here the steel wool on it and just run it in there I can see it come out the other end so that is definitely running all the way inside here let's check it out real close here as you can see it's definitely cleaning it out we're going to take it out right now check it out look at that that definitely cleaned it out pretty good I think put a little WD-40 in there with it so that it uh, kind of lubricates a little bit comes all right right in alright that's looking pretty good I like it I think that's going to clean it out really good right there I think a little bit of water has gotten in and it right here on the end a little more than the rest of it so we're next to it here all the way right okay I'm done. That is all the cleaning we're going to do inside this tube. I think it's good and clean. Let's wipe it out and look inside real quick. Alright, that is looking pretty good to me right there. A lot cleaner than it was. Let's get this thing greased up and put it back in. I like it. I like it. Looking good. Alright, we're going to start off by packing some marine grease in both ends of this tube. And then we're going to pack marine grease all over this as it goes in. And we should be good to go. Alright, let's give it a try. Here we go. Alright, we have success. Check it out how easy the steering wheel turns now. We're doing it good. And she's moving really good now. So, we just gotta hook it all back up and we'll be done. Stay tuned. Hi, we have another successful boat repair operation here. Check it out. I can turn this motor by hand now. It just, and as you can see, the steering wheel just running. So, it's nice and loose now. You can turn the wheel no problem. Let's check it out right here. Oh man, so nice to be able to see this wheel just go so easy now. It wouldn't even turn this morning when we started, it wouldn't even move budge. She is now all greased up, set up, and ready to go. Now some people do do a lot more aggressiveness inside that tube. I didn't want to get too aggressive, I did use some uh, steel wool, which is not real aggressive, but I've seen some people use 80 grit sandpaper uh, and some other things in there. One other thing I was considering that you could use is a like a... Um, a brush to clean out a shotgun with you know but that's brass so it's not quite as abrasive so that would work too but anyway I ended up using the steel wool I hope uh, uh, that works good and it's pretty easy to get apart I think we if it happened again we could fix it pretty easy all right appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure don't forget to click like comment below share subscribe to the gig master you never know what we'll be doing next stay tuned